We're here on my third day at Bryce Canyon. It's sunrise and uh, just wanted to say thanks for joining me on these journeys to Bryce Canyon. I know I'm out of breath. I've been doing some crazy stuff this morning, hiking in the dark. Uh, I'm gonna back up some footage if uh, any of it came out of the hike in the back maybe even where I fell down the mountain by myself like an idiot travel tip you're not supposed to hike by yourself in the middle of nowhere but I don't follow my own advice so thanks for joining me and sit back and enjoy the journey you gotta see this I'm walking in a dry riverbed. I have no idea where the trail is. This is the path I've gone down and uh, missing kind of the sunrise because I'm in this canyon. But it's definitely worth the adventure. This is the point that I'm watching the sunrise. It's kind of out of the wind. It's pretty cold out here. It's probably in the uh, lower 30s but I wanted to apologize for me breathing heavy at about 8100 feet above sea level hiking up and down these crazy hills will uh, definitely uh, wear a fat old guy out so I hope you enjoyed the sunrise a brittle these hoodoos are they're just rocks layered upon rocks with dirt in between and uh, as Emily the ranger was explaining how they were made I will uh, cut some of that video in actually that's uh, in my first video uh, Bryce Canyon so go back and take a look at that one you want to talk about feeling small when you're down here beneath the hoodoos you feel like an ant in this canyon. I could totally see or imagine a giant T-Rex coming out of here and trying to maul me right now. It's such a great break to get away from work and stress. All that good stuff. You guys are here. Make sure you grab some good hiking boots, a camel bag with lots of water. But mainly, I know Bryce Canyon is mostly a driving park. And a lot of people, that's what they do. But that's not where the real adventure is. The real adventure is down here, seeing all of this. So, my suggestion is, park that car, get your fat butts moving, Definitely do some exercise before you get here. I hike about three to five miles a day, and I'll tell you what, it's kicking my butt. I've been doing five miles out here, but five miles going down straight, and then five miles straight up, or a total of five miles, I should say, uh, at 8,000, 9,000 feet will definitely take a toll on you. So make sure you get in good shape. Do a walk every night, push yourself a little further each night so you can get out here and really enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer. On my quest for some more ghost towns and old buildings that have been abandoned, found this one. It's kind of an old cabin. As you can tell, I have a strange obsession with seeing how people used to live back in the day. Kind of cool. Pretty sure this was a cabin. It's got this uh, old stove here as well, sitting outside. Not really sure how old it is. I'm sure it's not 1800s, but 
maybe late 1800s. We're on the under the rim trail, looking down on some hoodoos here. If we would stop and show you a different perspective of what we've been walking along. Further down, as you can tell now, we're uh, heading down the uh, trail. We're on the other side of the hoodoos now. Here at the hat shop we've been walking you can see the hat shop right there it's all the uh, the big rocks sitting on top of the hoodoos give you a view on the way up of what we see on the uh, trail back up to the car but it's absolutely amazing Unfortunately, video does not do this justice. Still heading up go back to the car it's obviously gotten a lot colder had to put the hoodie back on but got a travel tip for you you definitely want to bring some hiking sticks they make uh, collapsible hiking sticks or ski sticks uh, which would definitely help you out on this trail if you've got bad balance it'll make you feel a lot more secure so I will link uh, I'll put some links down below of different tricks and tips that I've used on this particular uh, trip to Bryce Canyon. So, as you can tell, I'm out of breath. Had to show you the outhouse, because I got a total kick out of this outhouse as I'm walking up to it. This is a definite outhouse. It has a leftover toilet in it. Probably going to be the last structure that we're going to find on the adventure. But this one's pretty cool. I can't get up close to it because it's behind a bob wire fence. But kind of neat. Old wagon. Looks like maybe a medicine wagon or something like that. Not real sure. And what's left of an old structure. This is definitely an adventure. I'm hoping that no rattlesnakes jump out and get me. <laughs> As you can tell, this brush is way high. But these are definitely old cabins. I want to go check this, this one out first. And I just found this one off the side of the road. I don't know any information about it. So... I'll see if I can look something up when I uh, get somewhere. Wow, look at how the structure is on this thing. It's crazy. Not sure what the hell's going to jump out at us. It's, got, it's like an old, it's got farm tractor tires in here. I know you probably can't see. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Also, uh, hit the subscribe button down there. I'm going to go ahead and leave some links to some of the cool stuff that I found along my adventures to Bryce uh, down below on the YouTube channel. Go travel on the cheap. Like always, I'm here to teach you how to uh, do these cool adventures. Even if you don't live near here, you can jump on a plane, relatively inexpensive, and get here to Las Vegas. Rent a car, a couple hour drive, you're here. You can also uh, fly into Salt Lake. Again, it's about halfway either way. Um, if you do it in the wintertime, it's really affordable.